Hello friends, welcome to second module. Now, I would like to answer your questions that I myself proposed in the previous video. The question was, how can you leverage your skills because you don't have a setup like the company you already work for, right? Well, the answer depends upon the type of setup we are talking about here. Here are three important things or three different kind of uh, situations uh, to consider. Number one, what type of clients do you want? Now see, you can get clients from traffic free or paid like Facebook, Twitter, uh, if you want to if you want to invest some which is obviously is a great idea then you can go for solo ads or if you don't want to spend money right now then maybe you can go for ad swaps now <clears throat> the second question could be do you need an office or not now see so you don't need an office right now if you're starting out because if you have an internet connection and a computer that's basically all you need at this point of time and since you're watching this video right now on the computer screen I assume that you have that kind of setup already now the third condition or the third question is whether or not you want to sell digital products or you are interested in physical products see I suggest that you stick with digital products if you are starting out though the fact remains that I'm making a killing by selling just digital products even when I can afford any number of physical copies of my books my software and other things which I'm promoting or I'm or I'm producing all the time but still if you want to sell physical versions then you can do that as well for very cheap nowadays we have services like Konaki where they deliver a physical product by converting your digital product and the best part is that you can order only one piece if you need one in fact nowadays we have services like print on demand where they convert a PDF or an ebook to a physical book for a very reasonable amount of money and like the name suggests it's print on demand so you don't have to order in bulk if you want like one book or two books or five books you can go ahead and do that but it's obviously you know if you order in bulk uh, then you will get it for cheaper like I'm not talking about like thousands of copies I'm talking about like five or ten or fifteen because this is like the bulk marketing which which is there in all, all kind of businesses right so for example if you're gonna get one book printed out they're gonna charge you something but if you're gonna get five or ten books printed out then it'll cost you a bit a bit less and now since we're talking about you know your subconscious fear then I would say that you know you leverage on even this particular condition I would say that if you want to sell some physical products or as a physical book and if you have some some money you know, which you can invest in there then I would suggest to go and get at least 10 to 15 copies printed out that way you know you will be motivated to try and sell or promote all the physical copies which you have already printed out now obviously it's not worth taking a risk if you are really on a very tight budget so what you can do is you know you can wait uh, for orders to come all right and when you get an order of a physical a book what you can do is you can probably send the digital copy first and then you know send them the email uh, stating that you know they will be receiving their download uh, their sorry their physical book in so many days and people are fine with that you know because they know that you can you can be you know from any part of the world and everyone understands that the, now the businesses are global all right and since they're doing this business or since they're doing the transaction over internet they they understand the fact that you know if they're getting something uh, in, in, in physical format then it could take some time and that's totally acceptable nowadays so you know you no worry about that at all right so this brings us to a very important question which I would have almost passed by but it just struck me and I'm really glad it did See, do you know what the biggest fear is for most people See, the fear is of not knowing everything now this, is, this sounds a little crazy because you know we all say that we know it's nothing you know we cannot just know everything about everything right but still the fear of not knowing what to do to achieve what you want to achieve is the biggest fear and I'm gonna tell you I, I'm gonna tell you what exactly I did to overcome this fear right so you know many people think that they don't have any special knowledge to start their own thing and that is 
you know, and that there is some sort of secret that successful people have and they will never get to know unless they buy the product that successful people sell. In fact, the reason why I'm so confident about you possibly having this fear is because you bought this course. Now, see, um, this is not certainly a, a good way to make you feel really warm and, you know, it's not like since I have your money right now, I'm just telling you this. No, it's not all that. See, this is not a how-to video series. It's all about you know you and your hidden fears, right? So I'm just gonna show it really straight so you understand and you relate to what exactly I'm talking about here, all right? See, and since you since you've got this whole course, don't worry. I'm going to reveal the secret. You know what the secret is? The secret is that there is no secret. Yes, you heard it right. That there is no secret. The only secret to success is working consistently and that is it. See, you won't make any money even from this product if you're not willing to take action. See, a lot of people think that they need to be perfect to be able to sell something online or offline uh, but the truth is that there is nothing called perfection. Right? So there's always room to improve and you can obviously improve even when even after you launch a product of your own. What do you think softwares and scripts and books have versions and you know volumes? It's simply because they release a software or book and make money, get feedback and then improve the next version. So do you think Bill Gates could have been the most successful man in the world if he waited to be able to create Windows 7 back in 1990? No, not by any means. See, I suggest that you don't buy any of your book if you already have some. If you already have some books right now in your heart, right? Then I suggest that you stop buying books at this point of time. I want you to read them. I, you know, even if you have bought the books to read, you know, with resale rights, just to sell them and to earn money. What I would say is, since you're going to sell that, and that means that you know, people who are going to buy are are most probably you know really interested in the content so there has to be something good so if the book you're going to resell or if any book that you got right now which you purchased or you know got for free from somewhere then I would urge you to go ahead and read that book See, unless you actually go ahead and try and gather some kind of knowledge then you know there's nothing you, you'll be able to do with the, with the knowledge which is sitting right in your hard drive right so now you might be thinking that reading a book I mean are you kidding, right? Because I personally don't like reading book at all, right? So, especially physical books, no. And if it's a digital copy, then all right, maybe yes, because you don't have more control. Now, this is my personal opinion. I'm talking about it's not a generalized thing. I'm just talking about my personal view of what I like. So, if you if you like physical books, then what you can do is, and if you have a digital, then go and just you know print the whole thing out and you know read that way, or or else you know try and see if you can get the whole thing recorded in your own voice or something you know and that's not difficult now you you know there are many people including me uh, who have this awkward feeling of of you know uh, listening themselves so basically if I record something and if I try and you know try to listen the whole thing myself then I might not ever let that recording go outside my hard drive but then you know that that's not how you succeed online or offline or anything you know because that's also a kind of fear which you need to overcome so what I'm saying is you know go ahead and try to gather more from what you already got in there instead of you know keep and you know keep spending money all the time on on the books and you know stuff like that all right and uh, yeah, obviously this is a very important thing which I would like to tell you. See, unsubscribe from all the lists you might be in right now and stick to just a few and follow the advice given to you very closely. Don't try to do a massive research to find that, you know, whose list is like the best or something like that because you got to show some trust. You got to so, you know, show some trust and respect to people who know what they're doing and the work and and then work on their guidelines. The next very important thing is to acknowledge small successes and respect them. See, if you earn $10 a day online or even less than that, you know, still the fact remains that you got a customer, right? And that means that you at least have something that people want, right? So just play Bill Gates or Steve Jobs or, you know, to, to name 
some of the world's richest few, or Matt Basic, or Mike Filsame, or Frank Kern, to name a few, uh, you know, internet marketing celebrities, or follow up, you know, up upcoming marketers like me, and gather some kind of, and, and gather feedback on the product, right? So, so you can, so you can sell them. You can sell them and improve if it's necessary. See, if it's not your product, and if you're just an affiliate, then try and get in touch with a vendor or creator to know if he has more product that you could po probably sell to earn some more money. But you gotta stick to what you do. Now, another tip is to stop getting distracted. Stop tweeting. For example, if you think it eats a lot of time, just concentrate on getting a landing page up as soon as possible and drive some traffic using free traffic methods. Paid one obviously will give you better and quicker results. But then, like I said uh, earlier, if you don't have money, then trust me, you can actually you can actually compensate that. Uh, you know that uh, lack of resources by putting more time into it so you know either you have money and so you so that you can get some fast results uh, some you know even more laser targeted results but if you are not in the position to invest more money on whatever you're doing or whatever you want to do then spend some more time and you will achieve that See, I've already given the resources and the products with this video series that you can use right away See, I did the same thing myself about a year ago. I, uns I unsubscribed from about 58 lists and followed just four marketers. Right? And I'm not making this up. See, I downloaded free products from giveaway events and bought resale rights if there was an option to, to get my first sales funnel ready. I included my best sales funnel right with this package as well that you can follow very easily and you can hit me up on Skype if you need some more help or want to get a consultation. Now if you don't get the ball rolling there is no point in investing in fancy products that are being launched every single day and they're 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 good you know they're but they're only good if you already have a business set up so they're designed to boost your online income and typically they are not designed to get you started online so you need to understand that when someone tells you that you know they they've made like 1 million dollar in past two days that, that that's true because you know they're showing you live clickbank and you know paypal screenshots and stuff like that but do you know what this this kind of income which you're generating right now has a very big and deep history behind that. You know, they might have worked for like three or four years or maybe like more than that. And that's a great thing. And now they're generating that kind of money in one day or one night, you know. So that that's cool and they're not lying, you know, but then again they're not even telling you the complete truth. Right? And I won't blame them because you know they want to make money online and that's the reason they have they have worked so hard in the past three to four years and that's the reason they're making that kind of money right now. So you know don't don't just you know frown at other marketers who are releasing big products and you know who are actually telling you that you know their product could make you rich overnight because probably they're they're telling you the right thing, you know. But they're just assuming that you already got an online business up and running and then by getting the software or the video course or the script or whatever you know some new strategies which they might have tested and which is working for them uh, you know they just want you to give them uh, give them to you so they can make use of it so it's not a wrong thing but then again like I said you gotta be you, you gotta be stay focused you know you stay focused and you will achieve success that's the promise my friend all right. So in the next video, I will tell you the importance of building your brand. You know, building your brand and your own list, and it's really very important. And I will tell you how exactly I did it, so you can get some more, uh, uh, you know, some 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 more e exposure to what exactly happens um, when you start building your list and your brand, like I did. Uh, you know, and then earn a name in the marketing industry, and then you bought, you know, and then everything will start rolling automatically with a snowball effect. All right? Thank you very much for sticking by, and let's see you in the next video. Have a wonderful time.